What is going on guys? Welcome to your 19th Java game development tutorial and in this tutorial we are finally going to be finishing up our screen manager class I promise you guys. We only have one more method to build and all this method is going to do is going to create image compatible with your monitor pretty much. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be returning a buffered image or an image that, that our buffer is going to use and it's pretty much just going to create an image based on what we need for our monitors settings so let's go ahead and name public buffered image create create compatible image and it's going to take three parameters int w for the width int h for the height and in T and T is transparency and those are three things you pretty much need for your buffered image right now a width a width uh, hiccups a height of your image and the transparency settings for it which we'll talk about later on so now you need to create a window object and don't name it W because W is actually width up here so name it like win or something and set equal the VC dot get full screen window so now win is equal to the window you're looking at pretty much so put alright if the win is not equal to null if it has something in it then what do we want to do well the first thing we need to do is get the characteristics of our monitor now we can't just go ahead in our computer and look at the settings because we want this computer to run on every game so it's going to be different for every monitor so let's go ahead and put graphics configuration GC and set this equal to the windows dot get graphics configuration and what this pretty much does is get the characteristics of your monitor or who whatever monitor is running this program and it's going to store it in a variable called GC and let's see if we can see it oh, I can't read that because my screen recorder is in the way but I just told you what it does and now what we want to do what we want to redo what we want to do is return GC dot create compatible image and we want to create a compatible image based on the things we passed in so width height transparency so now that it knows your monitors settings it can create a compatible image based on the settings pretty much based on the settings we passed it in and the settings that it got from its monitor so that is pretty much what's going to happen but of course if that doesn't happen then let's just return null so if things go bad just return nothing because if we don't have a return statement then uh, this program won't work so that's pretty much the only thing that we had left to write for the screen manager class and in the next tutorial we're going to be going over the class with the main method in it and we're going to be running our program well probably not in the next tutorial and eventually we're going to be running our program without flickers or tiering or anything like that it's going to be one smooth animation it is going to be amazingly awesome but for now i just want to say thank you guys for watching thank you for sticking with me and watching my free tutorials it's been awesome um that's it for this tutorial i'll see you next time don't forget to subscribe see ya